Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News Analyst Emmanuel Efeni. Great Malabai. Good morning, Ruben. What happened? Good morning, Aaron, Rufa. Aaron morning, took sir. your slot. Where were you? <laughs> no, we just did some uh, exchange. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, Good to see you. Good morning, Tundu. Morning. Yes, let's start with this the newspapers, Nigeria's newspaper of records. The lead story, Hasha Times beckon as NMPC warns no fuck remittance for me. Says 111.966 billion fuel subsidy deferment will create massive revenue shortfall. Yes, the Punch newspaper has similar story. The Punch, cash crunch, NMPC rights governors, bloated subsidy eats up revenue. Corporation projects zero allocation for April, May. 12.9 billion naira for June. State governors intensify IGR drive float industries, new airlines. Yes, this issue of subsidy, AKA on the recovery, according to NMPC, the chicken is coming home to roost. The government at one point said it was not subsidizing, but we all know better now. Should the government remove subsidy, labor is saying no. But I'm sure if by May, states don't get revenue uh, from the center, from the FAC allocation, and of course, workers don't get paid. I'm sure pe the discussion between the Nigerian Labor Congress and government will take a different direction. But it brings to mind the problem we have. A nation that produces, that exports crude and imports finished products, and this is what we have, that we spend so much to bring in petroleum products. Now, there is no money to share, as usual, come May. I don't know whether governors should be praying for a miracle, or they should just roll up their sleeves and do the needful. Of course, IGR, they are pursuing with vigor investment in revenue generating ventures. Of course, a number of states are doing so, but certainly, the absence of FAC allocation in one month would create problem for most states. If not all, perhaps you exclude uh, Lagos. So that is the problem we face right now as a country. In 20 years of democracy, Nigerian politicians, PDP, APC, they've not been able to fix our refineries. They've not been able to build new refineries we are all waiting for Dangote Refinery. Now, let's move on to other stories quickly. The Vanguard newspaper, Nigeria in trouble, security architecture of no use. Southwest, South-South governors. Present security architecture can neither guarantee effective policing nor address challenges. Governor Akere Dulu adds, no consistent policy to manage and SARS aftermath. Federal government has to sit up. Situation not partisan. President, all around him must rise to the occasion, according to Governor Ifai Okowa of Delta State. Now, the nation newspaper, Nigeria can't afford another civil war. Oshiba, you want. Oni, Sultan, caution against secession calls. Abaribi, Government creating room for disintegration. Now, the Daily Trust newspaper, outrage over viral video of 19 headers killed in Anambra, targeting Northerners a dangerous game, Northern Elders Forum, not will no longer tolerate provocation from IPOB, according to the CNG. Now, the New Telegraph newspaper, Nigeria's problem, not corruption, but ethnic triumphalism. Abaribi says federal government pushing Nigeria towards self-help, disintegration. Obasanjo, country will not be consumed. Suiting words from a former heads of state, a former head of state, Oshibaju urges allies to speak up, says Nigeria can't afford war. Akere Dulu 
National Security Architecture Can't Solve Problem. Now, the Daily Sun newspaper, INEC, yes, the electoral body, proposes February 8th for 2023 presidential poll. Once of consequences in electoral ad amendment delay. Reps OK bill for creation of 147 additional National Assembly, State Assembly seats for women. Tundu, you seem to be excited by that bill. Well, I have a different view. I wasn't excited by it. OK, but you welcome it. No, that's not what I said at all. OK, if you say so, I'm sure the women are also listening. I said we can ill afford more seats. That's my problem. Well, I understand what they're trying to achieve, well, but over bloated government. Women are listening that you are not excited. That won't well, let them listen. Seats. I've never really needed anybody's <laughs> approval. I think what I think. We actually should have a unicameral legislature. That's what I think. Yes, we should yes. have bicameral in the first case, and certainly not to extend it. And you I don't also want a bloated yes, legislation. Yes, we don't need that. And they shouldn't use women to further bloat the legislation. I don't, yes. That so is the point you are making. Women should have a seat at the table, not to have to build another table entirely to add to the numbers, which that are already is, too high. Yes, that is vintage Tundo. That's what I think. <laughs> now, INEC, in daily independent newspaper, INEC troubled over Electoral Act Amendment Bill passage. And I think Nigerians should be worried that after what we went through with the rejection uh, of the Electoral Amendment Bill by President Muhammadu Buhari in the run-up to the 2019 election, I'm surprised the executive, the legislature, the politicians, nobody seemed to be in a hurry to amend the, const the, um, uh, the Electoral Act 2010 as amended so that we can have a better platform for the 2023 election. Because we all agree that we need to make some amendments for our elections to be transparent and to be seen to be so. Now, the foreign newspapers quickly, the daily no, the Guardian newspaper, let's take the Guardian newspaper of Nigeria before we go to the Guardian of UK. Growing concern as correctional facilities risk more jailbreaks. The Guardian, Nigeria's the Guardian newspaper, yes. Now, over 3,000 escaped inmates on the loose, overcrowding, fueling jailbreak attempts. Expert links incidents to spike in crime rates. Of course, the, the, nation, the nation's correctional facilities frequently come under violent attacks leading to jailbreaks. And one of the reasons is because these custodial centers are overcrowded. And if nothing is done quickly, of course, it will continue to contribute to the high crime rate in the society. This is despite the fact that billions, billions of Naira um, are budgeted every, budgeted every year for these correctional centers and for the security of the correctional centers. Now, the Guardian UK, the Guardian UK, yes, Prime Minister's fury as watchdog launches inquiry into cash for cuttings. Now, the, the Financial Times put the same story this way, Johnson faces formal probes into who paid for Downing Street facelift. Electoral watcher suspects offense, party donor in spotlight. Number 10 says no rule broken. While the Washington Post newspaper Biden says U.S. is on the move again after that uh, congressional address yesterday, the first by the Biden presidency. Over well, to you, Rufa. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, right. uh, if any, I don't think we have uh, additional time to be able to have a conversation. But very interesting issues you raised there, from fuel subsidy and uh, the crisis, the financial crisis that we are likely to face uh, from May, the end of May. Mm -hmm.